Now, Jesus himself healed the blind and made the lame walk. But the Democrat Party Capitol Hill squad member, Cori Bush, says, hold my beer. This lady came to us and she had these tumors. I mean, she wanted us to like feel them. And um, I just remember I put my hand on her um, and my hand just began to move. And uh, the lumps that were there were no longer there. And she was so happy and she like went on about her day. And I never saw her again. So you think the tumors disappeared? I do, I do. It's a miracle she can cure, she can heal. She should go to Calcutta. She could be the next Mother Teresa or something <laughs> like that. You know, and if you think that's impressive, that's not even the best thing, making tumors disappear with the laying on of hands. She also wrote this in her autobiography. She said, the child had a bleed in her brain shortly after she was born and so couldn't walk. She had never taken a step in her life Walk, I said gently to the three-year-old girl. You will walk. And the girl took her first step, then another, and another. She walked. Now, this is, uh, this is pretty good stuff. I, uh, you know, this, uh, it's... Are you going to me because you think I'm the miracle worker? No, uh, no, 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 I just... Uh, I you know, believe so. in miracles. I do. And is Cori Bush a miracle worker? I, I don't think so, because, see, with Jesus, the, you had his, his disciples basically write about witnessing the miracles. You know, mm -hmm. Jesus didn't really write them himself. Mm -hmm. So I think it's kind of odd that she's playing this big role of um, making, making her sound like she's a miracle worker. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know. She it's made the tumors odd. disappear, uh, disappear right uh, <laughs> underneath her hands. And, and the child couldn't walk, and she made her walk. She might be a messiah. I don't, I don't believe in healers, like uh, she sees herself as a spiritual healer. I personally don't believe in that, but I do believe in prayer, the power of prayer and the power of positive thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, Norman Vincent Peale, when he uh, had the people in the hospital and he had them every day say, every day in every way I'm getting better, mm -hmm. and then the people who actually said that mm -hmm. uh, actually got better at, at a higher rate than, than others and their recovery was quicker. So I do believe that if you believe you can do something, a lot of times, those sorts of miraculous things can happen. Uh, but this is uh, now a member of Congress of the radical left-wing squad, and she laid on her hands, and the tumors disappeared beneath her hands, and the girl with the brain bleed, and three years old, and she walked, and she walked. She had never taken a step in her life. And Cori Bush, a member, she, she's wasting her time in Congress, I think. The power of prayer is impactful, and I'm not going to say that it's not. I, my question and, and concerns with Cori Bush are, this is a woman that is a self-prescribed uh, progressive leftist who supports abortion, which if you're in the church, you, I don't know how you support abortion, mm -hmm. especially to the limits that she cares for. Mm -hmm. Also, she's with the jihad squad mm -hmm. wanting the eradication of Israel. Jesus was a Jew. Like, what are we doing? So she can be progressive and talk about how she's a miracle worker, but her actions in public aren't telling me she's a Christian. I think she should go to Rafa in Gaza and lay some hands on there. That might not go over very well, but it, it is, <laughs> Cori Bush is a fascinating person and full of walking contradictions. She's one, she's one of the most vocal advocates for defunding the police uh, in the United States of America. I reported three years ago on how uh, she employs, despite that, coincidentally, conveniently, a uh, private security firm filled with staffers who are obsessed with the Second Amendment because uh, she can have her police uh, while you can't. She also believes that uh, her COVID was cured over the phone. Um, she actually not only claims to be a faith healer, she claims that she was faith healed. So if you want to go down a crazy rabbit hole, Cori Bush is where I would recommend starting. And it is very possible that people are fed up enough with her that she actually loses in the Democratic primary uh, later this year uh, in Missouri. Yeah, I saw that. She's not doing very well in the polls. And, and uh, certainly the power of uh, prayer is very real. But we're not really talking about the power of prayer. We're just talking about laying on hands and the tumors disappear like that. Uh, Mother Teresa could never do that. And then the three-year-old with the brain bleed and suddenly the kid is kicking field goals and is a but soccer some, star or But some saints can. They heal, but she ain't no saint. Sorry. And, uh, so, and, and Sorry. She, she, should, she should really let people know if she is, because we could use a lot of help right about now. <laughs>